Sainer, great ball. Mitoma, he could be in here. Mitoma, lovely swivel. Mitoma scores, of course he does. This is a thing of beauty. Caicedo with a great ball. Patterson misjudging it. And in step Mitoma. He made it look so easy. One touch to get it right out of his feet. Then the feint. And a finish beyond Pickford and the despairing dive of the defender on the line. Isado. There's the switch. Here's Matoma. First time in the half, really. See Matoma on the ball. Good looking ball into Sarmiento. Big chance for Sarmiento. Sarmiento, Ferguson must score. Does score. Albion have a new goal scoring hero. Evan Ferguson. Sarmiento. Finds space, poor challenge, cuts it back and Ferguson showing his predatory instincts. He's there, where exactly where he needed to be, just to guide it in. Brighton know all about him. There's Sarmiento, here's Ferguson. Ferguson lining another one up, comes to March. March, infield he comes, Solly March composes himself and rolls it in. Easy as you like, Albion lead by three. And it's Solly March again. Look at this. The touchdown. Ferguson thought about hitting it. Rolled it to March. Infield he came. He sat a couple of players down and then just curled it into the open space. Pickford didn't even dive. Nothing he could do. Nothing Everton could do. Oh, and then a misplaced pass, and Gross could be in for four. Pascal Gross finds his feet. Gross, can he make it four? It's a wonderful finish. Pascal Gross embarrasses Everton. So much time, so much space. Pickford retreating. Gross thought about it and chose exactly the right option. It's three goals in six minutes for Albion to lead by four. Again by Estepinian, it's Lallana, it's Ferguson, brilliant ball, March is in and March, great stop from Stefan but it's in from Gross, Alpian lead after seven and a half minutes and you have to say it has been coming, they have been dominant from the first whistle, Pascal Gross was in the perfect place. March, Lamptey sets off again, but March goes deep. Matoma's there and it bobbles up and it's an easy finish for Lalana. And Albion restore their lead. Well, the whole of the Riverside held its breath expecting a, a whistle or a flag. And there was none. Such a simple goal, simple but effective. Zach Steffen looks bewildered by what's just happened. Lamptey can burst forward and Lamptey has the speed to breach the middles for defence and slot it through and Ferguson could be in. Ferguson checks in on his right foot. It's well marshalled and then... Oh, it's in! McAllister! Oh, that is World Cup class from Alexis McAllister. Gross is in down the line, there's options in the middle, McAllister's there, and McAllister scores again. The simplest of finishes this time. Guiding in Gross's cross to put the game beyond doubt. Albion now lead 4-1 at the Riverside. Well played, Lamptey. Undaf. Undav, oh, fine finish from Undav. He picked his spot. That is an excellent finish from a man who was in need of a goal. It's an emotional reaction from the German. And this is an early chance for the Seagulls. Mitoma could be in and it's a cross goal and it's prodded in! 
The perfect start to the second half. Solly March can't stop scoring. And Albion lead just a minute into the second half. Exactly what they needed. And March, right place, right time. The energy with which Albion are closing down their opponents is wonderful to see. Ferguson now threads it. March could be in again here. Solly March! Special goal from a special player who is in the form of his life. Ferguson threads it, inch perfect for March. And that is an absolutely wonderful finish. Brimming with confidence, couple of touches, and then just clips it with precision and power beyond Allison to double Albion's lead. Welbeck in for three! That'll do it! Danny Welbeck back with a goal and all three points all sewn up for the Seagulls. This is his first Premier League goal of the season and what a time to score it. Great flick, great touch, excellent finish. Of course, Solly March was involved again. Two goals and an assist for him, but that is fine work from Welbeck. Pass Canate over Gomez, eyes on the ball and volleyed beyond Allison. And the game now beyond Liverpool. Overturning possession again though is McAllister. Stupinier stayed a bit centrally as he spreads it out now to Metoma. Another chance to have a go and fire it into the top right corner. Oh my word, that is brilliant from Karu Mitoma. See the space on this near side. Stupin Jan's just gone centrally. And then Mitoma up against Castagna. Wants to get it on his right foot. How about that for a finish? Dispatched into the top right corner. And the Japanese international, Danny Ward. That full stretch wasn't getting anywhere near it. That will try to third away from Trump, McAllister into Caicedo trying to get the ball down, swings a leg at it there, Mitoma and it's enough to find a path through to Estupinia and into Ferguson, it's in! This team do not know when they're beaten and it's exactly what the Seagulls have deserved, great ball in from Estupinia and an even better headed finish, Ward wasn't able to stop that one an assist from Ecuador and a finish from Ireland. Another off short option is Alexis McAllister. Whips it in towards Ferguson. Alexander Arnold was back there. Maybe Lutz, he'll hit it. Deflection is in! And he does hit it. A slice of luck, but the Seagulls do not care. And it's the captain who has the telling touch to draw the Seagulls level. Cracking angle. They have been going wide from Lancy as well. So it really is a telling touch from the Seagulls leader. He'll claim that as meaning it. But the fans in the Amex will not care. And they produce a wonderful moment to win it and go into the last 16. Stupid yet. Loops it up towards the far post. Mitoma, can he hit it? He can! He's done it again! Incredible scenes right at the dead! And the Seagulls will be in the hat for the last 16 on Monday, thanks to Karu Mitoma. You simply cannot stop Mitoma. Mitoma had that chance moments ago. Gross weights expectantly. Sends it back out to Sarmiento. Cross has to go in the penalty area towards Mitoma. Looping it in. Mitoma magic strikes again. Bournemouth have been stubborn. But if anyone was going to break them down, it's this man. Everything he touches turns to gold. Gross found Sarmiento on the left wing. 
Mitoma never stopped moving and got between the centre-backs. Neto tried to claw it out, but couldn't do enough. And it's Seagulls 1, Bournemouth 0. Pinyan buys it across and it's in. Solly March at the back post to give Alpi in the lead. Silencing Selhurst Park. Solly March. That is richly deserved for the Albion. Now there's a pass to Toma across goal and tap in for Ferguson and Albion lead. It's Lewis Dunk on his 400th appearance with a peach of a pass to release Mitoma. He looked up and there was Ferguson to gobble up the easiest of tasks, tapping into an empty net to give Albion the lead in FA Cup round five. Lovely goal. McAllister against Ariola. McAllister, 1-0 point. He buried it. Well, West Ham will feel hard done by, but it was a clumsy tackle. Matoma did exceptionally well, and then McAllister did the rest. Swung over, it's got to be, it's Feltman! No flag, Feltman doubles Albion's lead. He scored against them in this fixture last season, and he's repeated the trick here. Great delivery from Gross, the flick was McAllister and Veltman left all alone. Had the freedom of the six-yard box. Brilliantly done from Veltman. And Albion 2-0 to the good. good. Touch here. Veltman. All great work. March. March. Checks back onto his right. Didn't want to hit it with his right. Gross across the toe is there! 3-0! Great ball in, Ferguson with the flick to March. Wants to hit it on his left, then didn't want to hit on his right. Gross, it's a tight one for offside. VAR will check it, but he looks on. They've checked it, it will stand. Mitoma has his goal, Albion have their third. 3-0, the Albion lead. Well bet. One and not take. Still pouring forward here in search of goal number four. Welbeck is there! It's a fine finish from Welbeck. Flicked into Welbeck. A couple of touches to get it out of his feet and then back into the corner. No chance, Ariola. Absolutely no chance of a comeback from West Ham now. 4 0. Albion lead. Great ball this for Gross. Gross has men in the middle to aim for. Checks back in onto his left, then onto his right. Digs it across. Mitoma at the back post, and it's a free header. And the opening goal for Alexis McAllister. Brilliant football again from Brighton. Gross creating the opening. Mitoma so composed, and McAllister there to provide the finish. Gross with that famed Cruyff turn, scooping it to the back post. Mitoma rising highest and unmarked in acres of space in the six-yard box. Alexis McAllister kept his call to plant it into the bottom corner. They have the crowd on side, roaring at Ellen Road as McAllister looks to find a way through and he's doing a good job of it. Mitoma drops his shoulder, Mitoma across! Is it in? It is in! Solly March restores Albion's lead. Great work from McAllister to pick away through that crowded defence. Mitoma loves doing this, just drop a shoulder. Cross it went. Almost an own goal. Will this be credited to Solly March? This view may tell us. It may be an own goal off Harrison due to the pressure from Solly March. Crystal Palace have started much the brighter. Be surprised, Brighton a little. Matoma sets off and Matoma drives into space, threads it for March. March on side and March tucks it into the corner. A brilliant finish from Solly March. It's a 
came to Mitoma here, they didn't look like there was any immediate danger, but that's what he can do, create from nothing. March's run, excellent, and the finish even better across Whitworth and into that far corner. No saving that. Back to March. March probing away down that right-hand channel. Now Gross. Touched off for Caicedo. Caicedo goes for goal and it's come out. There's a chance and it's 1-0. No flag. Dennis Undav gets Albion off to the perfect start. Solly March teasing his way down the right-hand side. Gross popped it in to Ferguson, back out to Caicedo. His hit was a good one. Crocombe couldn't hold it. And Undav, completely unmarked, had the freedom of the penalty area. Caicedo. I've been moving the ball well in neat, carefully constructed triangles. McAllister, Ferguson, what a touch that is, and what a finish that is! Evan Ferguson doubles Albion's lead with a breathtaking piece of skill and a really composed finish from the young forward. McAllister feeds it in, the touch to bring it down and put it into his path was exquisite. Lovely touch, great control, and then he just feeds it beyond the outstretched hand of Crokham. Just that one moment, really, from John McAtee, where he nipped in. All Albion put this game firmly to bed, which they might do as Ferguson's in, Evan Ferguson to finish it, and he buries the chance. Albion lead by three, and Ferguson does have his second. The Seagulls are soaring to Wembley. It ricocheted to Undav, a little bit of fortune about that, but nothing fortuitous about the finish. Ferguson, as soon as he collects from Undav's pass, one thing in his mind, get it out your feet and bury it. And he did that expertly. Albion have such a talent on their hands with Evan Ferguson. I feel like a fourth is inevitable at this stage. Webster, great delivery, March, there's the four. Great finish from March, so patient from the Seagulls, they waited and waited and picked their way through. He just cannot stop scoring, it's his eighth of the season. And that is another fine finish. Great assist from Webster, great weight of cross. The run, excellent. And absolutely no chance for Crocombe and no chance now in this quarter-final for Grimsby. One back by Sarmiento, and Sarmiento into the penalty area, he looks up, Welbeck on the stretch, it falls for Matoma, and Matoma is crept in. That's unlucky for Grimsby, delight for the Seagulls. Matoma is a breathtaking player to watch, and he has deserved this goal. It came back to him, that's cruel on Grimsby, but it does reflect the dominance of the Seagulls. Still looks long, and it could... Oh, it's going to reach Matoma, all the way through Matoma! What a finish that is from Kaoru Matoma! Magical! And look at the celebrations from De Zerbi and his Albion team. A fantastic finish from the Albion winger, all the way from steel through ball. And that is a death lob over David Raya. So quick and then deadly accurate with the finish. No mistake. And Albion all square after 21 minutes here. 
to Welbeck, lovely round the corner and helped on. One-touch football, so fluent, so many bodies in the middle for March to aim for. Me makes the block, falls back to March. Infield he comes, scoop to the back post, should be 2-2, it's 2-2! Fantastic football from Brighton, they're level again. Danny Welbeck, right on cue. Oh, it was great football to get March into the space for a cross. Second time of asking, he provided an inch-perfect centre for Danny Welbeck, and all he had to do was just guide it in. Made it look easy. Albion often make it look easy. McAllister up against Raya. McAllister, that's confidence! That's a brilliant finish! Albion find a way, they always do, and they are all square for the third time in the game. Dunk. What a pass that is, an absolute beauty from Dunk. Estupinian rolls it across, it's blocked. It'll drop to Matoma. Matoma across Ferguson! Into the corner from Evan Ferguson. Well, Bournemouth have done their best to nullify him. But his movement has been excellent. It was this pass that unlocked it. An absolute peach from Lewis Dunk to release Estupinian. That had Bournemouth scrambling. Mitoma into the box and that is absolutely phenomenal from Ferguson. The awareness, the confidence and the composure to do this. Just stroke it beyond Neto who had absolutely no chance. Completely wrong footed. And Ciso scuttling down the line. Welbeck won't get to it, but it will drop for Gross, and it will fall for March, and March looks for movement. Gross has Veltman with him. Gross lines it up, it's Ciso, turns it field, it's Ciso to bury it! And Ciso gives Brighton breathing space, his first goal for the club, and that will do nicely for all three points for the Seagulls. Pinged in by Gross, great control, away from two, and knew he was clear, waited, waited, and stroked it beyond Neto. Over it goes from March, back post is Dunk, and it's 1-1! Lewis Dunk with a bullet of a header, unmarked, and on his 200th Premier League appearance, the skipper draws Albion level. Great delivery from March, but where was the Tottenham defence? Lewis Dunk, probably the biggest threat from set pieces, left completely on his own with the freedom of the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Matoma, infield he goes, but taken off the toes of Welbeck, then given straight to McAllister. McAllister into March, now out for Gross. Gross back onto his left, across it goes. Welbeck's there, and Danny Welbeck again at Stamford Bridge, hauls Albion level. Great work from March, then Gross. Gross with his left peg measured to perfection into Danny Welbeck. What a ball that is from Gross. Absolutely inch perfect. And the header is two. Brighton hungrier to win it back, but then March gives it away. But he's won it straight back, and March sets off the goal. Infield he goes, and Ciso lining it up, and Ciso! What a strike from Enciso! Glorious! A goal of the season contender at a critical moment. This angle will show us even better. Oh, it gets better. Phenomenal. The sweetest of strikes. You just won't see a ball struck better than that. Aretha Palaka saw it all the way, but still couldn't get anywhere close. Given away again, here's Buonanotte. Buonanotte to March. Danger here for Nottingham Forest, March. Navas, and it's a tap-in on his full Premier League debut, Buonanotte. Well on side, poor goalkeeping from Navas. Buonanotte can't believe his luck. An absolute tap-in for his first ever Albion goal. Estepinian's on the overlap and Estepinian will get there. It's a good cross as well. Looping beyond Bueno and 
pretty much everyone. Ball to Veltman, Veltman goes low, well back and it is touched in, no flag. Or is there a flag? Brighton look a little confused, they don't know whether to celebrate. I think this will stand, I think Dennis Undev has his first Premier League goal and Albion have the lead, but it is going to be checked by VAR. Welbeck's flick, he couldn't really miss Undav. Steered it in confidently. They've really struggled to keep things tight away from Molyneux. Now Enciso is bursting forward. Samedo's trying to get back at him as Enciso's away. Undav's ahead. Gross is there. 2-0. A brilliant finish from the German. What a brilliant brilliant player he's been for the club look at this and CISO clear down the left hand side rolls it into Gross and that is calmness personified no panic from Gross opened up his body and steered it well beyond Saar it's Enciso Enciso again working his way forward and CISO forces it to Gross Gross oh what a goal from Pascal Gross Magnificent! And CISO involved again. He got it out on the left-hand side, got it out of his feet, looked up, found Gross, great control, and that is stunning from Pascal Gross. What a finish. What a performance from Brighton. Far, far too good for Wolves. Oh, it's one you want to watch again and again. Jose Sarr well beaten. We'll go again. Neto has popped up on the left. Wolves give the ball away for the umpteenth time. Gilmore spreads it to Enciso and he'll keep that in. What a great ball that was from Gilmore. Enciso driving at his man back to Estepinian. Estepinian onto his favoured left. Great cross. Welbeck's there and Danny Welbeck makes it four. So simple, so effective. A goal brilliant in its construction. Gilmore out to Enciso. Esther Pignan, so casually almost, just getting it onto his left and clipping it straight onto the head of Danny Welbeck. Webster and CISO drops for Welbeck. Welbeck! Five! Two for Welbeck. Five for the Albion. Great football again into Enciso initially, his touch didn't reach the intended target but as it was cut out, no one moved towards Welbeck and Welbeck just picking his spot beyond Saar beautifully, beautifully done from Welbeck oh and they've won it back here and the chip, oh it's fantastic Dennis Undav with an absolutely exquisite finish for his second and Albion have six for the first time ever in the Premier League. Saar rolled it on his studs a couple of times and then they just lost it. For the umpteenth time this afternoon, they lost the ball. That is absolutely outrageous from Undav. Collecting one touch, looked up and dinked it. Alexis McAllister, he doesn't miss from the spot, and we wait, a big wait, McAllister sets himself, McAllister scores, the knockout blow, incredible, and the noise at the Amex is deafening, and then pure passion, Great spot kick, absolutely no saving that. De Gea sent the wrong way. And Ciso, up to Gross, and his left. Delightful cross, and it is there! Might be an offside flag. No, Simon Hooper looked across, Pickford couldn't keep that one out. Gross measured in. McAllister flying in, Matoma. I'm not even sure McAllister got a touch. He didn't, Matoma did, and then it came off McAllister's head. 
A bizarre goal, Albion will take it. Matoma's after this one, and Matoma will get there ahead of White. A little jink in field, Matoma. On the overlap, Estepinian, look at the room for Estepinian. It drops for him, Enciso! And Enciso opens the scoring! Matoma, dancing in field, waited patiently, picked out Estepinian, his first cross was blocked, his second bobbled into the ground, no offside, and Enciso kept his cool. Little glance to the assistant to check he wasn't offside, steered expertly past Ramsdale, and Enciso on the score sheet again. It's ricocheted here, and it's fallen for Undav, and Undav lifts it in. And it's there, Dennis Undav doubles Albion's lead and surely all three points are going to Brighton. He's well on side, Trossard with the flick, Ramsdale wasn't swift enough off his line and that is a measured finish under pressure. Dennis Undav made the sublime look simple. Wonderful finish and Albion go two up at the Emirates, brilliant. Welbeck into space. He's got Buonanotte to his right. Now Undav. Undav lines it up. And Ramsdale with the save. Estepinian, it's three. Estepinian's first goal for the club is the icing on the cake in an absolutely heroic Albion display. Man of the match display from him. Undav hit it. Estepinian well on side again and controls his finish. Just into the ground, over the top of the despairing dive of Ramsdale. And that's what it means to Roberto De Zerbi, the knee slide. Now Gilmore, he's got options to his right, plenty of them in crimson. And that's a really good looking ball as well. Undav could be in, Undav, Undav! Halves the deficit. Well, he scored inadvertently Newcastle's opener with his head, good run, great ball, held off his man and then absolutely no mistake with the finish. Well, Dennis Sundav has now scored four in his last five Premier League appearances. He's going to bounce to Caicedo here, Caicedo to McAllister, McAllister, Ferguson, first time Ferguson can have a go and Evan Ferguson! Is it beyond McCarthy to settle Albion nerves? Caicedo involved, McAllister afforded too much time, well on side, just one touch to shift it. Lianco didn't get close enough and he just shifts it out of his body and then absolutely laces it goalwards. A rebo to Ward Prowse, Alcaraz. Way to Matoma, and Matoma tries to burst past, and he has. Referee allows play to continue. Matoma, what a ball to Ferguson in for two! Glorious! Southampton are unhappy. They feel that was a foul on Lavia. Look at the pass from Matoma. Absolute genius. Was this a foul? Not really. Not in my view, anyway. Check complete, the goal will stand. Albion have doubled their lead. Mr. Pina arcs it in. The melee of bodies that have gone down as Gross gets back onto the ball. Gross, oh, he's found the corner. Pascal Gross restores Albion's two goal lead. Esther Pignan's delivery, a melee of bodies as it dropped to Gross. He fainted to shoot, and then at the second time of asking, he just dragged it into that near post. Teased a rebo. Oh, Pascal Gross finds the smallest of spaces to restore Albion's two-goal lead. 
wonderful game to watch. Plenty more to come as Colwell strides forward with purpose. Enciso, Enciso lining it up, Enciso! That is absolutely beautiful. Julio Enciso does it again. And he's got the party started at the Amex. The replay's even better. Just sized it up. And that is some strike. Two, three, four goalkeepers wouldn't have saved that. That is as perfect as it gets from Enciso. And Albion are deservedly level against the champions. Gross lost it. Undav. Undav is in. And that is a clinical finish from Undav. And again denied by the flag. He's onside, that one will stand, and Brighton back in the game at Villa Park. And there's the confirmation, it's the away end celebrating, because they've got the goal that their first half performance has deserved, they've created enough. Ahud. They've got bodies back. Thomas Cross, March 1-0. No flag, Albion are up and running for the new season. And it's Solly March with a header, no less. Great wing play from Matoma. The two wingers combined. The cross was so good that Solly March could barely miss. And he is looking to score on his Albion debut. Smartly done from Pedro, he beats Kaminsky for a debut goal and Albion have a two-goal cushion on opening day. Just what they needed. Plenty of room now, Pedro. Down the line he goes, Nakamba tracks him and Nakamba brings him down. That looked more of a penalty than the first one. Mitoma collects, Ferguson. Esther Pignan onto his left. Esther Pignan, Kaminsky is stretched but makes the stop. And a ding 3 1. Oh, what an error from Mpanzu to give the ball to a ding And the winger has a debut goal. And Albion have their third. And they've restored the two goal cushion. And now the three points look safe. Esther Pignan galloping clear. He's got players to aim for in the middle. Across it goes. It's 4 1. Ferguson converts for an opening day goal. The young Irishman is off and running for the season. Esther Pignan, the creator. Ferguson, the scorer. And Albion lead Luton by 4 1 to make it a very happy opening day to the season indeed. Beautifully across, Ferguson sliding in exactly where he needed to be. An easy finish for him. Matoma definitely fancies himself against Tomato, and why wouldn't you? Because he's away from two, and Matoma breezing past. What a run! What a goal from Matoma! The dancing feet of Kaoru Matoma does the damage. It didn't look on from there, but he danced past two. Beat a third. And then that is a classy finish after a magical run. Opposition defenders sick of the sight of Kaoru Matoma, but Brighton fans can't get enough. Gross. Hounded by Lamina, but still finding the pass to March. Clips it over the top, and that is a delightful ball to Welbeck, and he forces a save from Saar. Falls for Matoma, cuts it back. Estupinia and clinical. What a start to the second half. That Solly March pass opened up the Wolves' defence. Saar on the stretch made a good save. Matoma had the composure, and Estupinia did the rest. And it's a smart finish from the Ecuadorian, low and hard. Gilmore, through he 
goes. And Ciso's onside, and then Ciso has acres of space, only March to aim for in the middle. Oh, but he finds him superbly! Just class! From back to front. Albion showing why it's called the beautiful game. Another goal of sublime quality. Absolutely brilliant football. As Brighton win it back again and go again. Well back. Moving into space. And Ciso a willing runner. Here is Enciso. Enciso across goal march again. 4 0. What is happening at Molyneux? Brighton tearing walls apart. What a team they are. Welbeck waited for the right pass and Enciso simply looked up and provided another inch perfect cross for March in the middle and he did the rest. Albion spoiling us once again. Once again, to his right. Gross! Oh, he has found the corner this time. He's finally beaten Ariola. Shaped on his left, brought it back on his right, and that is deadly accurate. West Ham just switched off for a second. He's going to be asked to chase this. Pope comes from goal, and he's pumped it straight to Estepinian, and Estepinian takes it in his stride. Big chance this for Brighton. Mitoma down the line. Mitoma is well saved by Pope. Comes out to Gilmore, Gilmore! Deflection and Ferguson wraps in the rebound! Albion lead! Evan Ferguson again! To Gilmore. Great prod through to Ferguson who turns and shakes the goal and Ferguson! Evan Ferguson! 18 years old and the world at his feet. What a player. What an extraordinary finish. And Albion, a 2 0 to the good. One thing in his mind turn, go for goal. Oh, that's majestic. Now Matoma. Matoma. Ferguson collects and lights one up and it's gone in. Trick for Ferguson. Big deflection on that one. Absolute star boy, Evan Ferguson. Terrorising Newcastle. And the game looks up for the visitors. Dingra makes the move. Welbeck gets the ball. A Dingra. Has options in the middle, good looking cross as well, Welbeck's there, and Welbeck scores! Incredible! Out of absolutely nothing. Brilliantly worked, into Welbeck, well onside there, Adingra. Great cutback as well, clever lead from Lalana. And the defending in the penalty area, non-existent. Welbeck all on his own. Mitoma sprayed beautifully into his path. Lamptey. Oh, and he's found Gross who makes space! What a finish from Gross! He loves a goal against United. And he's got another one here to double Albion's lead. He started the move with that precision pass out to Mitoma. He just drifts into space, collects from Lamptey here, drop of the shoulder to get past Martinez. And then absolutely no mistake in the finish. Lamptey on the left-hand side. Look at the space again as Lamptey drives into the area. He's got so many to pick out. Pedro's there! from Pedro! A sublime finish from the substitute. The Albion lead 3-0 at Old Trafford. 
and they're running away with it. The space for Lamptey. Had all the time in the world to pick out his man and that is caressed into the corner from Joao Pedro. A quite brilliant finish. Joao Pedro, a picture of concentration. Pedro steps up and slides it in. Albion's first ever goal in Europe, scored by Joao Pedro. Pedro, stuttered run up. Pedro, perfect from the spot again. Albion level for a second time. Gilmore gets it back. And he's swinging it again. He can, great delivery, 1-1. One, one. Calamity for the form of defence. Albion level right on the stroke of half-time. Bournemouth get us underway in the second half. And immediately, Ansu Fati into the action, closing it down, and the ball breaks for Mitoma. The two substitutes heavily involved just seconds into the second half. Fati, oh, what a start to the second. This could be Mitoma! Outstanding! Talk about an impact off the bench. Just fabulous work from Fati and Mitoma. Exactly what... Roberto De Zerbi ordered and Brighton needed. On debut, here's Belieber flying forward. Great run, but robbed of the ball. He's still got it, and he's won it back. Great tenacity from Belieber. Now Estepinian. Estepinian digs out the cross, and it's perfect. Who's there? That man again. Kaoru Matoma gives Albion the two-goal cushion they crave. Pedro is brought to ground by Pau Torres. And Brighton have immediately burst onto the ball. There's Pedro. Pedro, and he can't find a teammate. Was he brought down there? Fatty will score! And Albion have one back. And it's Ansu Fati's first in blue and white. They got on with this free kick extremely quickly. Pedro did superbly to keep it in. Question mark of a penalty. Pedro went down, but in the end, deemed irrelevant because Ansu Fati steers it in. Not well here, Lamptey. Now Mitoma. Mitoma cuts it back. Should be 2-1. It's 2-1. Gross on the score sheet. Bright back in the game. Beautifully worked. Terry Lamptey at the heart of it. Pedro against Lopez. Pedro, he doesn't miss from the spot. Clinical. Pedro again. And Albion on course for their first points ever in Europe. Oh, Adingra's won it back here. Adingra racing through and he passes goal. It's just brilliant from Adingra. Simon Adingra catches Liverpool cold to give Brighton the lead. Liverpool will be asking how on earth this happened. The Amex doesn't really care, just that it's gone in. It's a march. March curls it in. Dangerous and it's in! Lewis Dunk equalises! The skipper is there when you need him most. But the delivery from March whipped in, clearly onside, and he steals in. Helped on for Doku. Steel is out, needed to get there and did. Alvarez curls it goalwards, but Lewis Dunk is there. And now Brighton break. Mitoma. He's got a chance to run at Walker here. Mitoma. Oh, it goes beyond him. It's breathtakingly good from Mitoma. And it's in. And Zufati pulls one back for the Seagulls. They've just started to create chances. Brilliant from Steele there. Lewis Dunk perfectly positioned as always. 
and then sets Brighton on the attack. Mitoma the runner. Walker couldn't stop him. And Ansu Fati got enough on it to carry it beyond Ortega. His second for the club. Once more, the Seagulls fans find their voice. They know this would be an excellent time to score just before half time. And maybe Mitoma will do just that. Mitoma, save, it's in! Joao Pedro does it! But at the heart of it, once again, it's the main man, Mitoma. Skips in field, gets the shot off. Ramai gets something on it, but not enough to prevent Joao Pedro from poking home. He just spreads it out now to Adingra. Cuts inside, good work for Adingra. Into Fatty this time for two! from Fatty to Dingra at the heart of it just pokes it forward to Fatty who coolly rolls it into the bottom half given away by Reed. now Igor and it's opened up here for Gross Gross gallops goalwards Gross Ferguson curls it he was never going to miss the Albion lead Courtesy of Evan Ferguson, all about Pascal Gross though, on his 200th Premier League appearance for the Seagulls. He created it, Ferguson finished it, and Albion have a richly deserved lead. Dahoud. Oh, Mitoma has far too much space. Harrison, the man to go with him. Mitoma twists towards the byline, it flicks! from Mitoma, Albion have their equaliser, richly deserved, Kaoru Mitoma once again for the Albion, brilliant. Mitoma so often the man to unlock opposition defences, does it again. It's an own goal for Ashley Young, but Kaoru Mitoma, the creative force once again for Roberto De Zerbi's side. Oh, give it away, Adingra, Adingra, he finds Fatty, charges forward, massive chance, and Fatty slides it in! Brilliant finish, and Albion lead at the Johan Cruyff Arena. Gilmore, Dahoud, little round the corner, very nicely done from Dahoud, who now comes to join the attack. Fatty racing goalwards. Fatty slips it to a Dingra. Big chance this. A Dingra! Albion double the lead. Oh, it was beautiful. It was brilliant. It was bright at their very, very best. Now it's a Dingra. He was in great form on Thursday night and he's working his way in field here. Great run from Adingra, still going and Adingra's in! What a run! What a goal! Adingra again, that was a masterpiece! An absolutely fabulous solo effort from Adingra, aided by a clever flick, but it's all about Adingra, his pace, his footwork, his confidence as he picked it up here on the left-hand side. And Adingra has Albion up and running. Right, tall forward. Gross in space, chased by Dominguez. Good ball into Ferguson. Ferguson curls it! Oh, what a finish! Evan Ferguson back amongst the goals to equalise for Brighton at the city ground. That was a brilliant finish. He is deadly inside the penalty area, Evan Ferguson. Forrest defending very deep. Gross with another chance to pick across, and that's well picked, brilliantly picked out by Pedro. Oh, that is some header to find the net from there.
Gross has been afforded far too much time on that side and this time he does pick out his man. One glance up, that is absolutely wonderful from Gross and the header even better from Pedro. Anthony Taylor makes Pedro wait. Pedro against Lakodimos. Stuttered run up, penalty perfection once again from Pedro to give Albion a two-goal cushion. He is so calm from the spot, never in doubt. Pedro against Stankovic, ice in his veins. Pedro simply doesn't miss from the spot and Brighton go absolutely crazy in Athens. Dingra again up against Dezasi, he took that nicely into his stride. He's got Caicedo for company, but he's released Lalana now. Buonanotte, Buonanotte, what a strike! Sumptuous from Facundo Buonanotte to bring Brighton back into the game. He unleashed beyond Sanchez, who could get nowhere near it. Wonderful strike. Milner whips across and it's there. Brighton do have a goal back. Milner whipped it across. Robert Sanchez couldn't save that one. Joao Pedro gets across his man and gets on the score sheet yet again. That's a brilliant header. Hitchwood over the top and Hitchwood gets to it as well and finds Pedro. Mitoma's wide left. Brighton building something here. Mitoma, two for company. Infield it goes, shooting, charging! Oh, what a finish! Gross! Teed up by Matoma. One touch, bang, into the corner. Fabulous finish. It was really well worked. First Hinchelwood with some great control. Pedro knew the space was there for Matoma. Gross just held back, and as he received it from Matoma, one touch to set himself, and then the second to launch it left-footed. Flecken didn't even move, the strike was that clean. Here's a Dingra. A Dingra looking for Gilmore, found Gross. Now Matoma. Brentford look fearful. Matoma now gross. Chance for him to dig out across, dig out. He does hit your word! <laughs> Albion leads! And it's Hitchelwood's first goal for the club. Matoma and Gross the combination again. Gross waited and waited and then chipped it across. That is a wonderful header from Hitchelwood. He didn't try and put too much on it, just went for direction, head it back across. As a Dingra works his way in field, finds Dunk. Dunk switches it to Matoma. Just a sense of an opening here, Matoma drops for Eagle. Now Gross. Right, really trying to turn the screw. Gross across. Great delivery! It's there! Albion finally level. Simona Dingra with the equaliser and the Amex erupts. Gross's delivery was inch perfect. When is it not? And a Dingra was there to steer it beyond Trafford. Lalana, Gross, great ball for Pedro. It's opened up. Pedro! were not to be denied! <laughs> top spot within Brighton's grasp, thanks to the Europa League top scorer, Joao Pedro, who does it again on European night. Mitoma, back to Eagle, across to Van Hecker. Can they unlock this Palace defence? Gross whips it in, there's the head, it's there! Welbeck! An absolutely 
Incredible header from Danny Welbeck. Gross just swings it in. Welbeck rises highest. And that is as pinpoint as it gets. Henderson scrambling. Oh, you're not saving those. You're never saving those. That is perfection from Welbeck. Now Pedro, hard to stop when he gets ahead of steam like this. And he's found Jack Hinchelwood, and Hinchelwood has buried it. The local lad smashing home the opener. What a finish. Jao Pedro, penalty, you know the rest. Perfect from the spot this season. Perfect from the spot in this one. Rolled into the bottom left. And Brighton and Hove Albion are 2-0 up and cruising on home soil against Tottenham Hotspur. Mr Pinyan will line one up! Oh! How about that? What a return to the Amex for Purvis Estepinian. Can you believe it? In a year of so many incredible goals, that might be the pick of the bunch from Purvis Estepinian. He took his time, he thought about the shot, and he absolutely rifled it past a helpless Vicario. It's João Pedro, it's four, and the Albion are waltzing their way towards a famous home victory over Tottenham Hotspur. They are in scintillating form at the Amex.